Hi parents, soon to be parents and all guardians, welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. In our today's video, we are going to learn about 9 things that you should never stop your kids from doing. Yes! Okay! Limits, according to psychologists, give children a sense of security and tranquility. In contrast, some constraints may have the opposite effect, giving your child a sense of insecurity and retarding their growth. Oh no! Here are some things you should let your children engage in. Okay! Crying and making noise, for instance. You might say, no way, how will this function? Just have a look at our advice. Your new conduct will be the best gift you can give your kids. We guarantee it. Whoa! Number one, asking a lot of questions. What? 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 What are you talking about? As a youngster develops and learns more about the world, they naturally have more questions. Hmm? What's that? Even though it may be challenging for parents to respond to all of them at night when they are exhausted, spending meaningful time with your children helps them grow. Yes! And of course, additionally, your bonding between you and your child will endure even as your kids get older. Don't forget to interrogate your youngster as well, by the way. Oh no! Perhaps one of them is, how was your day? But you don't have to push them on a more detailed response if your youngster initially refuses to speak or only replies with a general statement like, fine or everything's okay. My dear parents, you can share your day with your youngsters, including any lesson learned and enjoyable experiences. For this reason, this will give them a positive role model and will inspire them to share their stories with you. Number 2. Being upset or resentful Of course, this is because a child is a person. They have the right to feel bad. My dear parents, please remember this. Keep in mind that kids struggle to restrain themselves because their willpower is not developed yet. If you believe that your children are expressing negative feelings, they should not immediately stop doing so. Down to number 3, being selfish. No. No. Like adults, children have the right to possess their own property. <sighs> Dear parents, never call your children out on their grid. You can ask them to swap toys with other kids instead. If so, they will develop into nice and generous people. Wow! Never force your child to share their toys with others if they don't want to. No! Number 4. Saying no. The subject is not your child. Children are legitimate member of the family. If you force them to say no to you, would involve crossing international boundaries. 
Instead, make an effort to find a method to justify to them why they occasionally have to do things they don't want to. Number 5. Being secretive Remember parents that your children will require more privacy as they become older. But of course, you have to be aware of what is happening in their life, but be careful not to interrupt them. You should avoid reading your child's journal or asking them about their secret because their confidence is extremely valuable. But make sure your child knows you care about them. You can question about their friends, even their close buddies. As a result, your child will be able to open up to you when they encounter a challenging scenario and develop trust in you. And when your children are giving you a story, try not to interrupt them. Only speak up when you are asked. Remember, to make personal touch, grab your child's hands or give them a hug. Tell your child about your mood or the fact that you don't feel like talking to them right now and then arrange a time when you can. Number 6. Feeling Scared It is acceptable for young children to develop a fear of a doctor or an unfamiliar relative. Number 7. Being loud Do not ruin a child's childhood. Let them play music and sing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, go me, bear, you're chasing me. Because when children become adults, society will forbid them from doing many things and require them to abide by countless norms. <laughs> so therefore, the only time in their lives when they have this freedom is during childhood. Number 8. Let your child sobbing or crying. Compared to adults, children feel everything much more intensely. So, don't stop your child from crying or make fun of them if they do. Remember parents that it is healthier to assist them in comprehending their crying and figuring out a solution to cope with it. A child only understands the phrase, don't express your feelings when we say, don't cry or don't shout. You might however phrase it differently. You can say, you seem exhausted or you just got upset are common phrases. As a parent, you should always make an effort to comprehend your child's emotion. Number 9. Making Mistakes no. <sighs> Oh no! Hmm? What's that? Making mistake is never fun and getting punished by an adult for them is even worse. It should come as no surprise that a child will never again want to take on any independent task. No! Never say, you are a nasty person, or you should be ashamed of yourself. Your child might become upset by these words. Say, we all make errors instead. They aid our learning. And here is the small bonus too. Don't be afraid to ask for assistance. Most of us find it challenging to seek for assistance from others. 
A child who is not accustomed to asking for help from parents in tough circumstances won't do so either. Start out by taking baby steps. Help your youngsters with their homework or the tidying up of their rooms. Never hesitate to ask. In reality, by often asking your child if they need assistance, you have the opportunity to be there for them when they most need you. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. This does not, however, imply that you should start providing for your child in every way. Parents, do you know of any other parenting blunders that we should all try to avoid? Please comment below and share them to other parents. And that's all for our parenting tips today. Please don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe buttons just below the video to stay connected with life with little ones. Have a nice day everyone and please enjoy your time with your little ones. Bye bye and I hope to see you on my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe.